Fill tool, as the name implies, is used for filling objects with colors as fill color, fountain fill, pattern fill, texture fill, postscript fill. Let's draw an object on the page. Choose the fill tool. Let's see about these fill options. Fill color. This is similar to outline color. The keyboard shortcut for this option is Shift plus F11. As you click this icon, uniform fill window will be opened. Options of fill color option are same as outline tool. You can adjust all the values according to your requirement and click OK. Next is fountain fill. This option helps in filling two or more blended colors in specific style. Keyboard shortcut for this option is F11. As you click on this icon, fountain fill window will be opened. Colors can be blended like linear, radial, conical, or square. You can also set angle and edge pad value. Adjust the values and click OK. Next is pattern fill. This option helps in filling objects with different patterns. As you click this icon, pattern fill window will be visible. Here you can choose your pattern as two colors, where you can set your own color. Just click the drop-down button. Choose any of the patterns. Fill color is a collection of default color patterns. Just click the drop-down button. Choose any of the patterns. Click any one of your choice. Bitmap: the origin and size can be adjusted. You can transform and can set row and column offset value for pattern. Adjust the values according to your requirement. Next is texture fill. This option helps in filling objects with various textures. As you click on this icon, texture fill window will be opened. You can choose any pattern from texture library and texture list. You can edit that particular texture according to your requirement, and you can add a modified texture to the list also. After selecting your texture, click OK. Next is Postscript Fill. This option contains lots of predefined designs. As you click this icon, Postscript Texture window will be visible. You can choose any of the designs from the list provided. Adjustments can be done according to the requirement. After you finish all adjustments, click OK. Next is No Fill. This option helps you to clear the fill. Thus, by using this tool, you can easily fill color, texture, and pattern in your object. Bezier tool. Another drawing tool in Corel Draw X3 is Bezier tool. The best way to use Bezier tool is to trace any object. Okay, let's see how you can use it. First, go to File menu and click Import. Import window will appear. From there, select your image. Here, I am selecting this picture and click Import and hit Enter key. Resize the picture by holding the Shift key and dragging any corner handle. Now, move the picture. Take it aside. Right-click over it and choose Lock Object. Now go to Toolbox and select Bezier Tool, which is right here. Now let us trace this portion. Zoom in and start. Click and take the mouse to a distance and click it again, and complete whole pictures like this. Once you have completed, now it's time to adjust all the drawn segment lines. Go to Toolbox, select Shape Tool, and click on Segment and right-click and select to Curve from List. Now adjust the line to fit the curve, like this.
Now select a pick tool and select any color from the color palette and drag the drawn portion. Let's see the properties of Bezier tool. After drawing shape, choose Choose All Nodes from the property bar. As you click this icon, all nodes will be selected. The first property is Selection Mode. With this option, you can choose selection as rectangular or freehand. Another property is Choose All Nodes. Options will choose all the nodes. The rest of the options are the same as Shape Tool. If you want to edit shapes, just click the Shape Tool. Now, go ahead and try this tool with different pictures of your choice. You can even use your own picture.